So yeah, it's a lovely surprise to wake up in the morning with the sound of nice little trotting hooves. There you go. Come on down and watch the boys train. Or the gals. Aren't they cool? Oh well, hopefully the weather will break. We're going to do some exploring. Okay, we've arrived at Mount Gambier Ermison sinkhole and before we go in, here's a fairly rare 1943 GMC crane truck that was used in World War II, then in the forestry of South Australia. It now sits behind glass on the entrance to Ermison sinkhole. It has this, Ermison sunken garden, or uh, it's, it's a part of a, um, a network of caves that were formed back many thousands of years ago by a volcano, or a bunch of volcanoes around the area. There was about 800 caves around this area, of which about 50 of them have collapsed. And uh, some of them filled up with water, some of them have dried up, some of them uh, created, yeah, a wonderful array of vegetation like this one. So we'll pop down and have a look. It's absolutely gorgeous. We snagged this at a good time. It's uh, the Big Blue Lake. There's two blue lakes in uh, Mount Gambier. There's uh, the Little Blue Lake and the Big Blue Lake. So the big one. It's about 70 odd meters deep, and uh, she's a she's a kilometer across, and it is picturesque. It is beautiful. I don't know whether you can see. Uh, it's where Mount Gambier gets their water supply from, and uh, obviously pumped out down there. You can see the clarity in the water down on the on the edge down there. It's really, really pretty. What a pretty, pretty lake. That's nice. Pretty lucky to get that, even though it's a, not a pretty, pretty day. But it only um, happens, it says here that the, uh, the color of the blue changes dramatically from gray to vivid blue over a few days in November. Um, and then gradually into the summer, usually until uh, into late March, it gradually fades until the gray winter appearance. It's a bit of a tough one. Obviously that's the pumping station up over there. So uh, that was uh, commenced in 1884. 
uh, from a shaft dug at the edge of the lake. Steam driven pumps were replaced with electrically powered centrifugal pumps in 1922, which were upgraded in 1972 until the present automated system. Now the volume of the lake is around about 36 million litres, which is replaced from an aquifer about every 10 years based on the current pumping rates. And the pumping levels peaked um, at 4,000 million litres in 1973, but have decreased since 1992, as the community have, has become more aware of the water conservation values. So yeah, what a beautiful, lot of water on the town's doorstep. Next protocol, well, we're gonna go up the big hill there, that's where the old Centennial uh, Memorial is. But we're overlooking now Valley Lake. There's Valley Lake and down in this little bit down here used to be Brown Lake. And Brown's no longer dried up. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. I don't know, there's somebody's fishing down there. How good's that? Lots of little trails. And I mean, you just pop over one hill, boom, you're into another one. I think the big place over there is a closed down um, hospital or something but it's meant to be quite a grand uh, building but uh, yeah abandoned looks really pretty though from the from the lake all right we've just come on up to like the the first plateau going up to the uh, the Centennial Memorial and uh, we've just plateaued now we've got the next one to do she's got a camera going up front and thankfully somebody's gone up ahead of us to show us how steep the angle it is <laughs> it's a doozy I tell you there we go we'll give my uh, my calves a bit of a rest but uh, she's up it's been a recent fire up here you can, you can smell it eh? yeah Especially with the uh, the damp that we got last night, it smells interesting. Do you want another rest here? Yep, yep. <laughs> we're gonna have another rest. But right, I tell you what, it's definitely pretty staggering. Uh, we're just over halfway. Whoa ho! Man, was that slog worth it? We made it to the top of uh, this valley crater. Now this building that you see here, this was a, a centenary building to commemorate the, the sighting and the naming of uh, Mount Gambier way back in um, the December the 3rd, 1800. Lieutenant Grant, uh, he was commanding the Lady Nelson. Must have seen it from, from the coast somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, the foundation stone was laid um, on December the 3rd, 1900. Boof, there you have it. And uh, yeah, just a, a nice little centenary. There's meant to be a little uh, little flag that they put on top if, uh, if the place is open so you can climb up it and maybe get a cup of tea. But uh, bugger having to bring the milk up. <laughs> and uh, over that way there is our next little challenge, uh, Mount Shank, looking forward to doing that one probably tomorrow on our way out um, but yeah great vantage point we'll uh, get to the other side of the uh, memorial and uh, have a look there
How's this? So what we got here is the Umpherson sinkhole. Umphus, Umpherson. So, where are we now? Valley Lake. Yeah. And uh, was it Grant Nelson? Lieutenant Grant. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs>